Hi, my name is Phil, I like to talk about politics. And in this video, I'd like to discuss the backlash against the BBC's biased reporting before, during, and since the general election and the possible legal action it may be facing. But first, if you'd like to see more of my videos, then please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification icon. So, for some time, the BBC has been failing to provide objective political news commentary. Uh, this comes as no surprise to many, given that senior figures within the BBC news team are close personal friends of senior Conservatives. Uh, this bias has taken the form of being tough to the point of rudeness with opposition politicians. It's right to be tough with all politicians, but to the point of rudeness and interrupting them. Um, but on the other side, they haven't done the same with Conservative politicians. In fact, they've failed to call out statements from Tory politicians, even when they were clearly false. And a number of times the BBC has been forced to apologise for their treatment of particularly Labour politicians, but never for the treatment of a Conservative one, except occasionally having to admit that they have allowed lies to be pro propagated on their channel. It also took the form of failing to report on stories that would be embarrassing to the government, but over-reporting stories that are harmful to the opposition. But with the latest general election, the stakes were raised much higher. Boris Johnson, who is a prime minister with a large majority now and can enact pretty much any law he likes, has been threatening the BBC's funding if it doesn't become his personal propaganda machine. And especially given that the senior figures at the BBC are not at all sorry to see Boris Johnson in charge, both the carrot and the stick for them are working in unison towards betraying the public's trust in them and becoming another Tory mouthpiece. That is the future we have to look forward to. Now, there will be some who may say that it's just, well, it's just yet one more chunk of the media that the Conservatives have working for them alongside the Daily Mail, the Sun, the Telegraph, the Times and so on. But the BBC is much bigger than all of those put together. It is huge in terms of its influence on the country. And, and so the bias towards one particular political party is hugely damaging to the tattered remains of our democracy. And the most senior political correspondent within the BBC news team is Laura Kunzberg, who's a Conservative Party supporter who has often crept over the boundaries in her support for Conservative governments. Now, recently, she said that history will judge harshly those of us who wish to remain in the EU. I mean, future gazing is not the role of a political correspondent, particularly when it involves attacking more than half the population of the UK. And it may be that, given her own political leanings, the fact that Boris Johnson has close to absolute power now and that any BBC bosses who do have any sort of conscience will be cowed by threats to their funding that Kernsberg feels she can now be unleashed. Indeed, statements such as this will surely find favour with the Prime Minister and may even be encouraged now by her bosses. But as a result of her statement, which is in breach of BBC guidelines on objectivity, Joe Moore QC has sent a strongly worded letter to the BBC complaining about this behaviour and demanding action. If he doesn't receive a satisfactory response, he is exploring legal remedies to the situation. Probably as well he does so now before it's completely impossible. I mean, it may be already. In the UK, there are very, very few laws that constrain news media from deliberately misleading the public and behaving in the worst ways imaginable. And what little laws we do have, Boris Johnson has promised to repeal in his manifesto. And, you know, so Moam's argument is that it should never be possible to tell the personal political opinions of a journalist if they are reporting objectively, which seems reasonable to me. Um, and it should also be remembered that Laura Kunzberg is also in potentially hot water over a statement she made before the general election results were known. Laws dictates that you are not allowed to discuss exit poll results for an election until the polls are closed for fear of, of influencing those still to vote. But Laura Kunzberg did so, um, live on the BBC, something that caused her to receive a warning on Twitter from the Electoral Commission. And when asked about the complaint that Mom has sent to the BBC, the BBC Director General said that the BBC wasn't biased, but that it was trusted by tens of millions in the country. But to me, that just makes the situation worse. The BBC is trusted by a large portion of the electorate. 
So when that trust is being misplaced, that makes their behavior much worse than a less trusted outlet, such as a Tory rag like the Daily Mail, because people do believe that the BBC is objective. And polls are indicating that trust in British media does seem to be declining. The BBC is going to be assailed from both sides now. Obviously, it's going to be attacked by those opposed to both the Conservatives and Brexit for peddling lies, the lies that allowed both of those to take hold. But it's not even like the Conservatives and Brexiteers are grateful to the BBC for the help they've given them. Such people have no concept of gratitude. As far as these privileged Etonians are concerned, they are owed absolute allegiance. They were born to rule. Um, it's not good enough to simply have the lion's share of their attention. So the government are also attacking the BBC for not being biased enough, not being 100% biased to their cause. Examples include the taunting of Andrew Neil over Johnson's refusal to turn up for the interview he promised to do. But perhaps in a country where the laws on news outlets is, is so poor, but for social media it's basically non-existent, we'll have to find that traditional news media has much less of an impact anyway as social media increases to have more of an impact. And, and that's not necessarily better. After all, social media is much more of an echo chamber. In fact, that's the way it works. With news media, at least, when you're watching it, you may agree with something it says and then disagree with the next thing it says. Um, but with social media, the whole concept is to show you things that it thinks you want to see. And that is almost exclusively going to consist of things you want to see and you don't ever get the opposing views even in theory, even when it tries to be objective. So anyway, we will see with interest if anything comes of any legal action against the BBC, because I'm quite sure they're not going to provide a satisfactory response to Moham QC's complaint letter, but uh, I'm not going to hold my breath. So I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. If you'd like to support the channel further, then please click the Patreon link for details as well. Until next time, I'll see you later.